So here is the uh, a bit of a chord explanation and strumming pattern explanation for um, Patti Smith's uh, Dancing Barefoot. It's a five chord song, um, but there's some cool stuff you can do if you just do a few strumming, different strumming patterns. And also I'll show you a, a cool cu couple of ways that you can do some chords funkily. So first of all, the E minor is just an E minor. Okay, so you're going to take your, and sorry about the fuzzy light, um, I've got a huge skylight. It's like, I don't know, four and a half feet by four and a half feet, a meter by a meter, whatever. It's huge, and so it confuses the camera a bit. I've got lights on, but anyway, you get the CSI fuzzy effect for this one. Um, I usually do it at night. This is a rainy morning, so here in Brisbane. Uh, anyway. So in E minor, just take your middle finger, 2nd fret, 2nd string, take your ring finger, 2nd fret, 3rd string, and play all six. Okay, and remember sometimes you're going to do bass, okay? And sometimes in this song, I actually just bang the first top three strings or so, like that. That's really Patti Smith, that's really rock and roll. So you, instead of getting the, the full bouquet, you just get that. So play around with that. One, two, three, four, five, six strings. Play around with it. There's no perfect way to do it. I do a lot of just for this song. Okay, secondly, a D. A D is, um, I'm just going to get it into the light a bit better for you. Um, sorry about that glare. Let's turn that light a bit. Okay, a D is... Ooh, that's even worse. Let's come over here. Okay, a D is point your finger, second fret, fourth string, middle finger, second fret, sixth string, ring finger, third fret, fifth string. Okay, and you only play the four strings. Okay, so. But when I do it, I do, I think it's a D over F sharp minor or something. Uh, if you have a thin enough neck or if you have big enough hands, I, I don't have big hands, but i got a thin neck here, you can actually do this where you put your thumb over the second fret first string like that. It's kind of cool, and it's cool in a song like this that has a lot of bass in it anyway. So normal D, and then D over F sharp minor, I think it is. Somebody can correct that in the comments. You just, do, you just thumb the one string and you play all six. That's nice and beefy. Don't worry about it if you can't, just play that four string D, okay? So you got the E minor, and then you've got the D, or D over F sharp, okay? A, I just play it this way. I do middle finger, second fret, third string, uh, ring finger, um, second fret, fourth string, and I do pinky finger, um, second fret, fifth string. Now, I have seen good guitarists do this kind of semi-barring where they stick their finger down and they don't touch the bottom strings. I'm, I'm not that flexible. I'm not that good at guitar. So I just do it like that. So it's like an E minor shape. Look at that. E minor, A. E minor, A. E minor, A. E minor, A. It just looks like an E minor, basically. But, but there's that extra thing. Now, that is a, that's a five-string chord. You don't need to play that bass. It's not the end of the world if you do, okay? Finally, in this song, there's a G. I like the big six string G, okay? You can play the Bob Dylan G, which I've shown you before. Bob Dylan G is uh, ring finger, third fret, first string, pinky finger, third fret, sixth string, and middle finger, uh, second fret, second string. That's the Bob Dylan one. That's nice, okay? But for this song, I reckon a bit more jangle. So then you do pinky finger, third fret, sixth string, ring finger, third fret, fifth string. Then you do middle finger, third fret, first string, and then you do pointer finger uh, here at second fret, second string. That is quite jangly, okay? So just going back, E minor. F sharp minor, somebody can correct that for me, okay? Uh, then the Bob Dylan G, or the big uh, jangly G, and the last one is, you can play the C, five string C, so 
pointer finger first fret fifth string um, middle finger third fret third string and then a bit of a stretch here you can do your um, your uh, ring finger third fret sorry fourth fret second string or so you can do that sorry that's not right let's do that again okay sorry let's try that again <laughs> that was terrible okay pointer finger first fret fifth string okay then middle finger second fret third string apologies uh, and the ring finger is third fret second string so that's a C I got a bit carried away there okay but I do the C like this also for this song move this finger so you got the C there five five uh, five string C just move your ring finger up here to the first fret third sorry first string third fret and then move your pinky up here and you get this kind of uh, John Denver C okay so it's a C suspended something somebody put in the comments if they know what it is okay so normal C and that okay that's it that's all your chords and this is what you need to do in this song okay first in the chorus which is I'm dancing barefoot Headed for a spin. First, you just do lots of big straight strums. I'm dancing barefoot, headed for a spin. Okay, so that's good. So that's one option you always have, just straight strum. All right? Now, the other thing is, you can do... Um, you can go... So it's down, down. could do down down up. sorry okay so down down up okay now the other one you can do is down down up down so So down, down, up, down. Okay? The other one that I do on this song, let's just see. Yep, so there's also this one. Bass, down. Down, up, down. Down, down. Bass, down, down, up, down. Bass, down, down, up, down. Bass, down. Bass down, down, up, down, bass down, down, up, down. Now, so you have you have a straight strum, you have a bass down, you have a bass down up or bass down up down, and then you can just go crazy with bass down up down up. So just remember almost always most songs are gonna start with bass and down or just down and then up. And then you just need to work on down up down up or down up or down up down up down up down up down up down up down up. That is how we do most of this. I'm just gonna play um, the verses and into one chorus just so you can sort of see that again. Okay, here we go. So There's one thing I didn't tell you about, the A. So I actually go, benediction, up, up on the A. So she is benediction, up, up, down, up, 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 okay? And then in the chorus, sorry, the bridge, it goes, it's very similar. Here I go and I don't know why. Okay, that's the same. And in the chorus, sorry, the, the real chorus, just remember. I'm dancing barefoot, headed for a spin. Some strange music drags me in. I'm gonna come on like some heroin. 
so it's da bass down down bass down down up down up So lots of bass down, or bass down up, or bass down up down, or bass down up down up down up down up, whatever you want to do. And the only thing that goes up, which is a bit like a Hootie and the Blowfish song, is on the, um, remember? Here I go and I don't know why. So it's up. If you don't know how to do up swings, just remember, loosen up a bit, loosen your hand otherwise you'd just be cutting into the couple of strings and you also knock your guitar out of tune. So. so one more time. That's it. That's the whole song. Good luck. I want to see it. Uh, Jeremy, Kensuke, Mike Braverman, anyone else who's picked up the guitar. Send me a message, subscribe if you get a chance. Um, I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this to reconnect with some old friends and to find some new ones too. So, well done. Good job. If I can play guitar, you can play guitar. I'm a singer. I'm not really a guitarist, okay? A gravelly singer. Anyway, Kansai Busker, please subscribe. See ya, bye.